Well guys, here I've got my GoPro Hero 6. I'm very, very happy with the camera. It's not perfect, you know, it's got some issues with the battery, etc. The other issue is that it's got fairly poor audio, in my opinion. But, overall, I am happy with it. Thankfully, you can improve the audio situation with this. This is the GoPro official Pro 3.5mm mic adapter. Now, let's get the first thing out of the way. It's very annoying that this is necessary and they didn't just build in a 3.5mm headphone jack. It's very, very annoying. I find it frustrating that they couldn't have just squeezed it in somewhere, but it is what it is. This works with the Hero 5 Black, Hero 5 Session, but it will also work with the Hero 6. The retails... La la la, what's that? Mate? $50 or £50 in the UK. I managed to find it a little bit cheaper though. I picked it up for £40 in the UK from a place called Tweed Cycles. So it was quite lucky that I saw it a little bit cheaper. Still expensive. And, well, you can see for a start here, all you get in the box is the mic. And I think here it's saying that you should update your GoPro. Now, I did update my GoPro recently and it did say that it offered um, this functionality for this. So, yeah, first thing out of the way, it's very annoying that you need to buy this. Second thing, it's very annoying that this is priced so highly. Paying £50 for this is, in my opinion, it's, it's just too expensive. They've priced this way too high. Thirdly, this thing is an absolute brick. I mean, look at the size of it. Really, why isn't it not just a cable? I don't know. I mean, I, I realise there will be some sort of technical reason for this, but... As a little bit annoying that you buy something this small and portable and sexy. You know, the whole point about this is that you have a small setup and then to get good audio, because the audio in here is pretty bad, um, you know, when you're using it with, when I used it with my selfie stick, with tripods, it was picking up every little bump. It was driving me insane. So this is a requirement if you're going to do any kind of talking to the camera and you don't want to just shoot footage. So... The idea is quite simple, it's at a 90 degree angle, it's a USB Type-C connection, it's got another USB Type-C connection there, which means that it can continue to be charged, because this has one USB Type-C charging port connection, um, and this allows you to keep connecting whilst you're using this, so, you know, if I'm going to be using it in my car, if I can get this up, if I'm going to be using this kind of setup in my car, then... I'd like to keep charging. There will be times when I want to keep charging because the battery life is so poor. Now, the real situation here, you know, the real problem here, sorry, is that you need to try and put this somewhere that's not just dangling around. So what I'll do just now is I'll take this battery cover off and then I'll put it into my aluminium case. So I'll take this dead kitten off um, looks like I've skipped that there, don't know how. Um, I've got the Hero 6 inside this case that says Hero 5. And when it's in the case and you've got the battery cover off, you can decide to put it this way or you can dangle it down the way. Now, one of the things that you kind of need to focus on now is where are you going to put this? And I see a lot of people do different things. Some people are holding it here and just try, trying to kind of tape it down here. You know, I reckon if it's there, it might not be too bad. Another option is to put it down below. And I saw one YouTuber who basically, if I can get this here, basically used adhesive pads and just kind of held it in like this with this case. And you can see it kind of sits kind of flush there. Like that. Now, I'm not going to show you the perfect setup yet because I haven't found it myself. I'm going to spend some time trying some different layouts for this. But at this point, what I want to do is just quickly try the mic. And I'll just do a very quick demonstration. Now, I will do uh, another video where I'll, I'd like to go out and do some audio tests. And I'll show you exactly the difference. But I just want to quickly show you how the audio will change when you're using this expensive, bulky, ugly 3.5mm microphone adapter. Right, guys. So, I'm still in my office. This is where I was recording. It is a mess. I've got a lot of things lying around and the boxes are building up. Now I'm holding my GoPro Hero 6 with my hand right now. 
So this is what you would hear, this is the kind of noise you would hear if you were just holding the GoPro Hero up. So now what I'll do is put it in the aluminium case. So now I've got it in the aluminium housing. It's in a big metal case around it, so the audio might be affected a little bit. And visibly, with the camera, I've got it behind a 55mm UV filter. What is it, 52? It's actually 52, not that it matters. So yeah, I'm still not using the microphone, so what I'm going to do now is put on the Rode Video Micro and we'll see how it performs with that. So I've now got my Rode Video Micro connected and if I bring this sound, you should be able to see that. Now when you connect an external microphone, you need to go into the settings area and choose the audio input. You can choose between standard, standard plus, and then there's the powered and powered plus versions. Now the Rode Video Micro is not a powered mic. It doesn't have a battery, so you, it draws power from the GoPro itself. So I've chosen standard. If I choose standard plus, it will add 20 decibels, which will probably be too high in most situations. Now, right now, I don't have on the dead cat or the dead kitten. Now, this will reduce wind noise when you're outside, but when you're inside, it can kind of muffle some unwanted noises as well. So let's put this on. So the dead kitten is now on the Rode Video Micro. The one downside to this is that it's such a big fluffy thing that you may actually see it in the shot. So that's a problem that I'll need to address if I'm using the Rode Video Micro. One way to resolve that would be to just use a tiny bit of an extension, you know, just use a little um, accessory, something, some sort of tripod accessory, hot shoe accessory, where I can raise it up a little bit. I might have some sort of component where I can do that. I'll need to have a look around to see what I've got. But just to, you know, it might just come in the shot every now and then. And that's, you, you obviously don't want that because it could mean that the clips aren't usable. So you need to watch that when you use something like a dead cat or a dead kitten that's trying to muffle the noise because you don't want anything like that to go into the shot itself. Now I'm using Standard Plus. So it's the exact same setup. I've got my Rode Video Micro connected to the microphone adapter into the Hero 6 and I've got my dead kitten bouncing around at the top there but I do have it at standard plus so I've added 20 decibels of gain to the audio signal which should be too high in most situations you might get clipping, you might pick up a little too much unwanted noise in the background but the good thing is that this setting isn't just for the Rode Video Micro this setting is there for lots of different mics. So depending on the microphone, you may have to use it or you may not. The only way to be sure is to test the microphone inside, test it outside, test it in your car, whatever you're recording, and make sure that it sounds exactly how it should sound. So now I've got my Shure VP83 plugged in, and see the black cable there, dangling around. And this one is powered, it uses a battery, so I've just chosen powered mic as the audio input. I've not chosen powered input plus, which will add 20 decibels. And the reason being that that will add 20 decibels, but it's not necessary because the Shure VP83 actually has an option for me to take 10, de 10 decibels off, use it as normal or add 20 decibels to the audio. So you should notice by now that the audio is much, much better with an external microphone. It should be no surprise that my Shure VP83 performed much better than my Rode Video Micro. My Shure is four times the price, it's got a lot more options, it's battery powered. All in all, it is a better microphone. I will do some more audio tests in a separate video and I'll take them out and I'll record using those microphones and show you the difference outside, inside and in the car etc. But really in this video what I wanted to focus on was the 3.5mm headphone adapter itself. It is, unfortunately, quite expensive. It is, unfortunately, very bulky, but is, unfortunately, necessary. The audio in the GoPro Hero 6 and in the Hero 5 is pretty poor, and I was very disappointed with that when I got my GoPro Hero 6. The, the last action camera that I had a few years ago, the Sony one, still got it there, but the lens is broken. But the audio was really good in that. I didn't pick up a lot of the, the muffled noises and background noises and kind of handling noises that you get when you use your GoPro Hero 6. It's just unfortunate that they've not addressed that and until they do, until they come out with a version 
of their GoPro that has better audio, you're going to have to buy this. Now, do you need to buy this? No. It really depends on how you're going to use your GoPro. If you are recording footage outside and, you know, you're going to be playing music over it, this is pointless. You don't need it. If you're going to be recording, you know, footage from uh, on your car and, you, and your, I don't know, your bike, your, your uh, mountain bike, your motorcycle, anything that you're recording, you just need the footage. You don't need this. But if you're recording footage and you want, you need good audio, you want good audio, this is what you need to buy. Unfortunately, it is very expensive, but I've looked and there doesn't look to be any other options. There's no third party alternatives. There's no cheaper options that I'm aware of. Maybe there is one out there, but I looked at a lot of videos. I looked at a lot of discussions regarding this and everyone felt the same way. Yes, it works. Yes, it does what it's supposed to do. But the whole point is that why are we in a position where we need to spend so much money in this accessory in the first place? The way that I'm looking at this though is that it's a necessary evil. It is a long-term investment. It's a lot of money for such a small accessory. It really is. And it really is GoPro just milking their customers. But until they fix the audio in their action cameras, this is something that you're going to have to buy if you want good audio from your GoPro. Thanks for watching, guys. I will do a video with some audio tests and I'll test this out. And I'd like to do another video in the future once I find out how I can wrap this around my casing and stop it dangling around like the annoying little thing that it is. Please do ask a question below if you've got any questions about any of this. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.